The following is a class on the Srimad Bhagavatam, first canto, third chapter, text number 28, given by His Divine Grace, A.C. Bhaktivedanta Swami Prabhupada, recorded on the 3rd of October, 1972, in Los Angeles, California. Sri Rupam Chakra Jatam Sahagana Ragna Khanitam Vansadivam Jaya Radha Madhava Kunya Bihadi Radha Madhava Kunya Bihadi Gopi Jana Vallabha Giri Varadhari Gopi Jana Vallabha Giri Varadhari Radha Madhava Kunya Vihari Gopi Jana Vallabha Giri Varadhari Gopi Jana Vallabha Giri Varadhari Jamuna Tira Banachari Jamuna Tira Banachari Jaya Radha Madhava Banachari Jaya Radha Madhava Kunya Bihari Gopi Jana Vallabha Kiri Varadhari Gopi Jana Vallabha Kiri Varadhari Jamuna 
जय ओंश पाप परवंश परिब्राज का चार जो सुतरु सदु समाव भक्ति सिद्धांत सर श्री गोशामी प्रोपादी जय अनंत कुड़ी उष्ण मिल गई जय नामा चार दूसरे विराज ठाकु की जय प्रेम से कहो सी कृष्ण चैतन्य प्रभु ने तारंद से अद्वैत कदाधार शिवाशा दिगो भक्त मिल गई जय कृष्ण राधा कृष्ण गोग अपना साम कुंड राधा कुंड मिली की उद्धन की जय मिलावन धाम की जय नवदीप धाम की जय गंगा माय की जय जोना माय की जय तुलसी देवी की जय भक्ति देवी की जय सावी तो भक्त बिंद की जय ऑल ग्लोरी इस देश में ऑल ग्लोरी इस देश में ऑल ग्लोरी इस देश में थैंक यू वेरी मच
This is confirmed in Bhagavad Gita. Jada Jada hi dharma saglani bhavati bharata obhutthana madharma sa tadatmanam sijamaha paritranaya sadhana vinashaya chiduskita dharma samasthapna thaya sambhamami jige jige. So everything is property of the Supreme Personality of Godhead. So this material world is also the property of Krishna because here the people do not care for Krishna. That does not mean that it is not the property of Krishna. Just like within the prison walls, the prisoners, they say, we don't care for the government. They say like that. But it does not mean that the prison house does not belong to the government. It is government property. But these rascals, they are being forced to live in the prison house. And he still says, there, we don't care for the government. This is rascal. You are under my control. And as soon as you are in wrong, I am kicking you on your face, Still, if you say, I don't care for you, you can say that. But there is force. You say, don't care, but I force you. You have to care. This is material. They are saying, don't, there is no God. We don't care for God. We are everyone God. But Maya, the police force is there, kicking on the face. And, and they are subjected to so many tribulations, miserable conditions of life, especially birth, death, old age, and disease. Now you don't care for God. So why don't you stop your death? You stop your death. Krishna says in the Bhagavad Gita, Mrittu sarva harascha aham. To the rascals and the demons, I am death. I take away everything. 
Sarvahara. Sarvahara means these rascals are trying to possess so many things. Cars, motor cars, skyscraper building, bank balance, big family, big friends, big empire and so many things. But when death comes, uh, he cannot protect himself. What to speak of protecting other things. So he is under full control, the demons. And every moment he is under control. Suppose I have got money, I can eat so much. But as soon as you eat little more, immediately you are under control. You cannot eat for three days in digestion. Immediately. And still the rascal says that I am not control. If there is little pain here, he immediately becomes, where is the doctor, where is the doctor? And he still he says, I am not control. And I am God. He does not know what is the meaning of God. God is never controlled by anyone. That is God. That is the definition of God. Uh, if you are God, then why you are being controlled? Because there are skills, demands, foolishly speaking something nonsense. But we should know that God means controller. He is not controlled. And when God was present on this planet, he showed what kind of God he is. Pritrana Saguna. Vinasaya Duskit. Anyone, any demon who tried to be, imitate God, they are all killed. All killed. The consul, his only policy was to kill Krishna. As soon as Krishna comes, kill him. So many plans he made. Krishna happened to be his sister's son. So he imprisoned the sister and brother-in-law so that he may beget children. But in my front I must remain. As soon as a children, child is born, I shall kill. This is the policy of the demons. Therefore, Indrari Bakulam Lokam, when people become the inhabitants of all different planets, they become very much perturbed on account of this demonic. In this Kali Yuga especially, the demons are so large in number that people are actually in harassment. Every year they are presenting taxation bill. And where from the taxation will come? The taxation will come from your pocket and my pocket. They will charge income tax and the storekeepers will increase the value of commodity. So you have to pay. Oh, you are complaining. Things are going high price. But why? Because the demons are levying taxes. It is not the scarcity of goods. There is sufficient commodity. Sufficient. But they have made an economic plan, just like in your country. The government say that you don't produce more. Why? If one can produce. Krishna has given food. You have to simply little work and produce your food. But in order to keep the balance of price, they say don't produce. Why not produce? If actually we produce food stuff in the ordinary way, then we can produce food stuff so much that ten times of the whole population of the world can be fed. Ten times. There is no question of scarcity or poverty. There is no question. We create these demands. They create. You have no experience. I have got experience, or some of the Indians were present. In 1942, the government created artificial famine. Artificial famine. The government began to purchase. That time the war was going on. So Mr. Churchill's policy was that keep the people in scarcity and 
they will voluntarily come and become soldiers. That was the point. We have no money, so and the another venue is open. Yes, you become a soldier, you get so much money. People love to talk. Poverty would go there. That was the policy. So this policy was executed. The government began to purchase rice and commodities, which are daily necessities, any price, any price they can offer, because the currency is in their hand. They can print the so-called papers, hundred dollars, and pay you, and you become satisfied. Oh, I got hundred dollars, but it is a piece of paper. The cheating is from the government. Why the people will not learn how to cheat? So this is going on. This is called demanding. Demand means for their own sense satisfaction. They are prepared to do anything wrong. Just like this Kansa. Kansa, the elder brother of Krishna's mother, and as soon as he heard an omen from the sky that you rascal Kansa, you are taking your brother-in-law and sister in your chariot to their home in their marriage ceremony, but you rascal do not know this sister's son will kill you. Oh, my sister's son will kill me? Immediately caught our sister. Finish my sister. Hey, Bhushadev, sir, what nonsense you are doing? You are such a big king. And your sister, younger sister, and she is married in this auspicious moment. Why you are killing? No, she is the cause of my death. But your sister is not the cause of your death, her son. That's all right. But I promise all these sons will be delivered to you. Because it is the husband's duty to give protection. So somehow or other he saved this situation. So this is the demon. He did not consider that here is my poor younger sister. She is just now married in jubilation. She is going on at her husband's home, how auspicious ceremony, and he was personally driving the chariot. But as soon as he heard that, oh, there is danger from my sister, he did not care, anything. No relationship, no ceremony, no auspicious, nothing. This is demon. Demon means for his self-interest he can do anything nonsense. That is demon. And demigod means he will consider thrice before doing anything. Just like Arjun. Arjun was insulted in so many ways by the other party, his cousin brothers. His kingdom was taken, they were sent to forest for thirteen years. His wife was insulted, so many things. But still he was considering whether I shall kill my kinsmen, the other side, they are all my brothers, nephews, brother-in-law, whether I shall fight and kill them. Krishna, I don't wish to kill. Let them enjoy. This is Bhemido. In spite of the other party, aggressor in so many ways, he was thinking. And here you see Konsa simply for the news that in future his sister's son will kill him. Immediately he was prepared to kill his sister. And in the marriage ceremony. This is the distinction between demigod and demon. Just try to understand. The demon has no consideration. So in this age, Kalishu especially, demoniac, everything, demons, godless. Demon means godless. Indrari. Demands means Indra or Indra Sha Ari. Ari means enemy. Indra is demigod and he is enemy. That is demon. Indra Ari. Just like you are, when you go to preach Krishna consciousness, you have got so many enemies. They do not act directly, but they are very much envious over this nonsense of chanting Hare Krishna. You see? They want to disturb, just like you have to close this door. 
because the demands will disturb. So, demands means enemy of the demigods, enemy of the devotees, those who are God conscious, those who are abiding by the orders of God, they are demigods. God, demigods means they are also God, but subordinate to God. They don't say, I am God, I am completely. No. A Vaishnava will never say so. He knows that I am eternal servant of God. That would be ego. Otherwise, their qualification is godly. So, Indra Ari Indra, Indra is demigod, is the king of the demigods. So, Indra Ari Bhyakulam, when people become very much disturbed by this demonic government and demonic. So, dharmasya glani. Dharmasya glani means discrepancies in the matter of executing religious principles. Just like in Russia, you cannot chant Hare Krishna Mantra. What to speak of chanting in the street? You cannot chant even in private. That is a law. So that law is coming gradually everywhere. God bless. In China I have heard anyone teaching about God. Next life will be sought. Did not? Somebody said, anyone teaching next life and God, he will be sad. So, your country is still very nice because you are not shooting Krishna conscious people, but there is possibility. But demands are increasing. Demands are increasing. But don't be afraid. Krishna is there. Just like the Krishna's mother and father was so much harassed by Konsa. But at the end Konsa was killed by Krishna. So we may be harassed for the time being, but Krishna will say, this is Saranagat, avasya rakhive Krishna vishyasa palan. This Saranagati means, surrender means, that Krishna will save me. I will not do anything against the devotional service. Even there is torture, just like Pallar Maharaj, he was tortured by his father. Krishna's mother was tortured by his brother, not outsider. So the demons are so rascal. They don't care for son, sister, mother, no. As soon as it is against my personal sense gratification, I must finish this. But be sure that Krishna will save. We have got so many instances. As Prahlad Maharaj was saved by Narasimha Dev from the hands of his father, Hiranyakashipu, Devaki was saved, Vasudeva was saved from the hands of Kansa. So you will be also saved because there is promise. In the Bhagavad Gita, Kaunte Apratijani, he, Nami Bhakta Pranasati. Krishna says, make it a declaration throughout the whole world that anyone who is my devotee, he'll never be annihilated. He'll be protected. I'll give him protection. Samo Hang Sarva Bhuteshu, Samo Hang Sarva Bhuteshu, Nami Deshasti Na Priya. Krishna says in the Bhagavad Gita that I'm equal to everyone. Nobody is my enemy. Nobody is my friend. Jetu bhajanti maam pritya, but those who are devotees engaged 24 hours, and I give them special protection. I give them special protection. So the demands will be there. And they will always give trouble to the demigods or the devotees. But you don't stop your function. Devotional service. Don't be afraid of the demands. Indrari Bhakulam Loki Mrayanti. Mrayanti means giving protection. Yes, give protection. So this Sankirtan movement, Hare Krishna movement, is also incarnation of Krishna. Nama Rupi Avatar. Krishna can become incarnation 
in sound form also, not in physical form. Physical form also there. Everything is there. But especially this age, Krishna is incarnated in His name. The name of Krishna is not different from Krishna. So, Nam Rupi Krishna Avatar. So Krishna is already there. The whole world is now demonic, anti-god, anti-matter, or anti-god now. So the incarnation has already come. Those who will take shelter of this incarnation of Krishna's name, they will be never annihilated. Take it for granted. Yes. So incarnation. Krishna's name and Krishna, no difference. That is omnipotency. Omnipotency. Omnipotency means everything is Krishna's energy. So the same potency in the energy and the energy. This is omnipotence. God is omnipotent. He can give you protection when you take shelter of His name. Because his name is non different from him. Avinatyat Nama Namina Nama Krishna Nama Chintamani Krishna Purna Suddha Nitta Mukta Avinatyat Nama Namina. Don't think this Krishna's name is less efficient than Krishna. No. Purna. As Krishna is perfect. Similarly, this name is also perfect. Purna Suddha, as Krishna is pure, without any material contamination, apāvo vidyam, no sin, sinful can affect him. You have read it in the Isho Upanishad. It's like the sun sign, infection cannot infect sun sign. Some disease that infect you, I mean, because we are less potential. But it cannot infect the sun. Uh, rather, the sun sign will sterilize the infection. So, anything infects us, anything sinful, cannot infect Krishna. Rather, sinful activities in touch with Krishna, will become purified. This is the point. There are many instances, just like Prahlad Maharaj, you can see. Prahlad Maharaj is standing and his father is being killed before him. This is sinful. Can you tolerate? Suppose if somebody comes to kill me and you'll see and love, will you do that? Why? That is sinful. So here, Prahlad Maharaj is seeing. It is not protesting. Prahlad Maharaj is not protesting. Why you are killing my father? No. He is seeing. So why Prahlad Maharaj is worshipped? Why he has become a Mahajan, an authority? You can say oh, he is the most sinful. He has seen in his presence his father is being killed and he did not protest. You can say so. But because it is in connection with Krishna, Prahlad Maharaj is the most exalted devotee. He is not sinful. The gopis, the gopis, they were wives, householders' wives, sister, daughter. So they went a dead of night to dance with Krishna. This is sinful according to Vedi. In no young girl can go to any young boy without being married. That is Vedic injunction. So practically it was sinful. But because it was with Krishna, in connection with Krishna, they went to dance with Krishna. The gopis are worshipped more than any devotee in the world. Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. Gopis exalted. Rama kachi dupasana brajavadabhi kalpita. 
So actually, they did sinful acts, action, by leaving their father, brother, or husband, and went to Krishna and did a prank. They were all young girls. That is according to Vedic injunction. That is sinful. But their worship, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, such a big sannyasi who never allowed any woman to come near to offer respect. You are so strict. They would offer respect from distance. He says, Ramma Kachi Dupasana. He says that the worship, the method of worship conceived by the gopis, there is no comparison. Ramma Kachi Dupasana. Brajabhadu Vijaku. Now you are so much strict about Omer, why he is praising the uh, external sinful activities of the gopis. Why? Because it is in connection with Krishna. There are many instances. Just like Bali Maharaj. Bali Maharaj gave up the connection with the spiritual master. Why? The spiritual master said, you don't give to Krishna. He was thinking that if this rascal everything gives to Krishna, then how I shall live? I am living at his maintenance. Just like you sometimes give me maintenance, I live. If you stop the maintenance, I shall die. So he thought like that, that he is my disciple and he is going to give everything to Krishna, then I will not get my maintenance, then I shall die. So he stopped him. Don't give to Krishna. But Bali Maharaj said, oh, you are stopping me to give to Krishna, I give up your life. I don't want. He became a Mahajan. Prahlad Maharaj became a Mahajan. Gopis became the most worshipable. So Krishna is so powerful that even in the ordinary ways it looks sinful. But if it is actually done for Krishna's sake, the same thing, Arjun. You are thinking that killing of my family members, it is sinful. He argued with Krishna, therefore this Bhagavad Gita is there. You are simply arguing that I will not fight. I will not kill my grandfather, my teacher, my brother, my nephews, my brother-in-laws. No, no, I am not going to. It is sinful. But at the end he did it because he understood, oh, it is for Krishna or that. I shall take the only risk. That's all. So as Krishna, the devotee takes all the risk of life. Similarly, Krishna gives all the protection to the devotee. Don't be afraid. So Indrani Bakulam Loki Mirayanti Juge Juge. He is always giving protection to the devotee. Don't be afraid. Another thing is that etecha angsakala pungsha. Pungsha means the person, the supreme person. So the Mahavadi Raskal theory is that the absolute truth is impersonal. And when he comes, to be present before as a person, he accepts a material body. This is their theory, maya, maya bhat. The Krishna's body is also bone and skin. That is their theory. They accept, yes, Krishna is God, but he has accepted a body of flesh and bone. This is maya bhat. But this hasta does not say, Krishna himself said, Abhajananti Mangamura Manusim Tanvasita. These rascals, they also consider me like an ordinary human being because I have come here just like human being. He has said, Mura Abhajananti, derived at me. To consider Krishna's body is made of flesh and bone, that means minimizing the value of Krishna. Dr. Radha Krishna has done it. No. Krishna, the absolute truth is always person. Punsa, here it is. Eti cha angsakala punsa. When some incarnation comes, 
is expansion of the person, not that he accepts this material body. All the description of the incarnation have been given before this verse. So therefore it is concluding that all these incarnations, they are expansion of the spiritual body of the Supreme Personality of God. Not that the Absolute Truth is impersonal and He is accepting a form with material body. No, that is not. That is not. Just like here, Diti, he is also an expansion, archa vigraha, archa avatar. Don't think that it is made of stone or metal. It is expansion of Krishna. You want to worship, Krishna has expanded himself to come here, to accept your service. Don't think it is made of stone. So, ete chang shakala kumsa krishna stu bhagavan sayam. The bhagavan sayam, the absolute truth, is bhagavan. Bhagavan means person with six opulences. And why he comes? Indrari bhaakulam duki miranti juhide. People are harassed by these demands. Therefore he comes to give protection. Paritranayo sadhuna. He comes to give protection to this sadhu. When they are in danger, they pray for Krishna. So just to satisfy them, Krishna comes. Not even for killing the demons. But when he comes, he also executes this service also to kill all these demons. Otherwise, for killing demons, he does not require to come. He has got many agents. So many demons can be killed within a second. For this purpose, killing purpose, Krishna does not come. He comes especially for the devotee, just like Prahlad Maharaj. For give darshan personally to Prahlad Maharaj, he has suffered in the hands of his father. He appeared. Otherwise, to kill Hiranyakasipu, uh, it is not very big business. Indrari Bhakulang Loki Mirayanti, when a devotee is very much harassed, so he comes as incarnation. So you stick to remain a pure devotee, and Krishna will give you all protection. Thank you. Very much.